Hello, I'm John Tilley, director of YMCA Camp Coniston. Today, I wanted to share my thoughts on this upcoming summer. You know, it's that strange time of year here in New Hampshire when the temperature is 52, the buds are bursting out, the birds are singing, and it feels like spring. You know that summer is gonna follow, but if you look behind me, it still looks like winter. This year, Camp Signs of Spring included specific guidance from Governor Sununu office just yesterday. And you know what? It changed as soon as he was announcing it. The document had barely been updated to the state's website when the governor announced that they were changing quarantine measures to relax them before traveling to our state. This means that we will be able to recalculate how to safely get campers to Coniston this summer in a way that we weren't even aware just 24 hours ago. There's also a lot more things that we know during this changing environment. Here, we'll be able to have all of our staff vaccinated. Engineers have even visited our facility and our cabins to measure airflow and suggest modifications so that campers and staff are safe. We're implementing a testing procedure to limit the chance that COVID even comes to camp in the first place. And there's much more than that that we've told you on social media, like outside dining, benches, and other facility modifications. But we can also all see evidence of the long, hard winter we've just had. And here in New Hampshire, at least, we know that there's still some cold weather to come. Just like the ice on the lake, there's lingering signs of COVID. That's why we're working on when campers and staff will wear masks. Like when everyone is together, that's when they'll wear masks. And also we're looking at when they won't wear masks. For example, like swimming or sleeping. The daily schedule, while still looking very much the same, will reflect when campers don't wear masks. For example, I think cabins will swim together. Again, because they're not going to be able to wear masks. But archery, where participants can stand apart, that's where they will wear masks, for example, and they will have mixed cabins. Check-in is gonna look different as well. We know that we're going to go to pre-packaged medications through a local pharmacy. This will allow our nurses to administer meds in a more socially distant and still safe and caring way. Our nurses mainly work in schools. We've learned so much from them regarding their year of interacting with students. Indeed, Coniston itself has learned a lot about COVID procedures and protocol because we run after school programs in the local schools every day ourselves. There's a lot of work left to do, and there's even more questions from you. And that's why we're creating and have created a special COVID-19 section on our website at coniston.org. It's going to be updated regularly. And of course, we will be modifying it right up to the time when Coniston starts. Check it regularly for answers to questions. Yes, we will send it to you again right before camp starts so that you know all of the important things you need to know. We're excited for the summer and we're ready for all of us to gather here on the lake. I hope you have a wonderful spring. I can't wait to see you.